Hello students, welcome to the first video of this new playlist. So in this playlist, I'll be solving the most recent past paper for PO Mathematics 4, which is October 2024 P4 paper. So uh, I'll solve the whole paper. Under this playlist, you will get the solution videos of each of the question of this paper. I'll try to explain as much as possible in each of the videos uh, and uh, so I hope you will understand and yeah if you find any problem or if you find any mistakes in any of the videos then feel free to uh, write it down on the comment box definitely I'll be there to reply to you and correct it out instantly so under this playlist you will find you will uh, you will find total of 10 videos since this paper has total 10 questions so that's that's why 10 questions for 10 videos for 10 questions and yeah so since this is the first video so in this video uh, we will we will be solving the first question of the October 2024 P4 paper so let's see uh, what's the first question of this most recent paper is about so the first question you can see on the screen basically the concepts behind this question it's uh, it's from binomial expansion of your uh, pure mathematics 4 uh, syllabus and it's uh, this this uh, concept has been discussed in your ch in the in the chapter number 4 of your pure, Math pure mathematics 4 textbook so in order to be able to solve this question definitely uh, you should know how to expand binomial expression and yeah and also how to do approximation using binomial expansion so let's get started with the first question of October 2024 P4 paper fine so in the first question part A uh, they are asking to find the first four terms of the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x of uh, 8 minus 3x whole inverse what one third so this is the binomial expression this is what the okay this is the binomial expression this is basically the binomial what expression and as we expand this binomial expression we will get its expansion okay so it's this binomial expression it's valid for x modulus for the values of x modulus less than what 8 over 3 okay so they given they have given a hint that we should give our what each coefficient of the binomial expan expansion as a simplified what fraction okay fine so we need to expand this binomial expression so if you don't know the formula or the process how to expand the binomial expression with negative index okay no problem you can check it out the formula from the uh, formula for binomial expansion from the formula booklet you can find it from the p4 part of the formula booklet uh, that will be given in the exam hall so here you go you can see this is the formula for what binomial expansion so here the binomial expression that is given it is 1 plus x whole to the power n okay so that means in order to use this formula we need to at first convert the given expression into this form okay so where the first term of the binomial expression should be what 1 okay so exactly what we will do the same we will what make the first term of the bi given binomial expression what one okay so part a so what we will do in order to make uh, the first term of the expression one we need to take eight common so if you take eight common you will get one minus three over eight x then bracket whole bracket it's the power is on the whole uh, expression so negative 
one third power is negative one third okay now take this eight outside the bracket so if you take eight outside the bracket it will be eight to the power negative one third which is one over what two right okay so and then what would be the binomial expression it would be one minus three over eight x inverse one third so we got the expression in the form of what one plus a x whole to the power n okay so now we can use this formula isn't it so let's expand the binomial expression using the binomial expansion formula okay so second bracket there so first term it's what one you can see in the in the what uh, in the formula booklet the first term of the expansion would be one next the second term the second term is what n x the power n is basically the power so power is negative one third and x x is basically here the second term of the binomial expression which is negative 3 over 8 x okay okay next is what plus n times n minus 1 right n minus n n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial so n is what one third okay and then what negative uh, negative one third negative one that would give you negative four third okay over what two factorial okay two factorial times multiply what negative three over eight x what what would be its power it, its power would be two why because we know that in binomial expansion the power of the second term of the binomial expression increases by one as you progress the what expansion okay so in the first term the power was zero right it was negative three over eight x to the power whole zero here it has increased to one and now it will be what squared that's it next so they wanted the first four terms right the first four terms so the fourth term would be in the expansion that would be what negative one third n times what n minus one which is negative four third times what n minus two now what we will now have three factors in the numerator so negative seven over three divide what now since there are three factors in the numerator so in the denominator it would be three factorial okay times negative three over eight power of the second term will increase to cube now okay so plus dot 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 then bracket what closed that's it now simplify the part within the bracket so what you will get the first term is one the second term is what negative negative makes it positive okay and three three cancels out so you will get one over eight x plus one over eight x next the third term the third term is what negative one third negative four third which is four over nine so negative which is positive four over nine four over nine over two that would give you two over nine okay so two over nine times two over nine times what uh three square that is nine over what 64 nine over 64 so you will get one over 32 okay it will be plus because negative negative makes it positive and it is also whole square negative is is within whole square so it will be positive so one over what 32 x squared done next is the fourth term so uh, negative negative makes it positive and then positive neg negative it is, it is what negative and here it is cube so negative cube is what negative so negative negative makes it positive so it will be what positive okay so now multiply the values what you will get uh 28 4 times 7 that is 28 over 27 because 3 there are uh, 3 cube uh, and what divide 3 factorial 3 factorial is basically 6 okay so if you multiply out the values and 3 cube is what 27 27 over 8 cube okay 8 cube so you will get 7 over 7 68 7 over 7 68 what x cube plus dot, dot, dot. that's it okay now multiply out the brackets what you will get half plus 
1 over <coughs> 16 x plus what 1 over 64 x squared plus what uh, 7 over uh, 7 7 okay 768 times 2 that would give you 1536 x cube. So we got the first four terms of the binomial expansion and that's what exactly part A of question number one has asked for. Okay next is part B. In part B they are asking to use the answer from part A with x equals to two third to find a rational approximation to cube root of what? 6. That means we need to now approximate a value using binomial expansion. Okay. So what we will do here is that we will at first substitute x equals to 2 third into the, into the binomial expression. So binomial expression is what? Uh, 8 minus 3x, right? 8 minus 3 times 2 third. So 2 third inverse 1 third. So that is basically what? 8 minus uh, 2. So 8 minus 2, it is 6. So 6 whole inverse 1 third, that is 1 over what? Uh, this is cube root of 6. Okay? Okay. So what we can write? 1 over cube root of 6, it is equals to what? It is equals to now. We will put x equals to 2 third into the binomial expansion to get approximation for 1 over cube root of 6. So, you will get half plus what? Uh, 1 over 16 times 1 over 16 times what? 2 third. Okay. And then plus 1 over 64 times x squared. Right. So, this, this is 4 over what? 9. And then plus what? 7 over 1536, 1536 times x cube. x cube is basically 8 over 27. Okay. Now just calculate the values. So what what you will get? Uh, this is 1 over cube root of 6. That would be equal to. Let's calculate. At first half plus what? Uh, 16. 2 over 16 there is basically 8 so plus 1 over 3 times 8 which is 24 okay plus 4 over 64 this is 16 and 16 times 9 it is 144 okay and then plus what uh, 56 over 1536 times 27 56 over 1536 times 27 okay so you will get 2 8 2851 divide what? 51 5184. Okay. So we need approximation for cube root of what? 6. So approximation for cube root of 6 would be just what? Invert it. Just invert the fraction. So you will get a rational approximation for cube root cube root of what? 6. Okay. So this is the rational approximation because a fraction is basically a rational what rational uh, value. Okay. So that's what part B of question number one has asked for. Fine.